Oh, we also have to turn this thing on. Yeah, can can that even be like heard though? Like that's the thing. How loud is it? How loud is it? Seriously, because I don't even think it's that loud. I mean, it is minus twelve decibels, so I I think it's because like while eating, it's like <laughs> like it's like. <laughs> It's it's so bad. <laughs> It'd be really funny if I kept this bit in and nobody had no idea. It'd be really funny if I kept this in and nobody had any idea what I'm talking about and it's just I'm making random noises. Hey everyone, welcome to a new series on the channel. I mean, not really new because I've done this multiple times before, but we're doing a Minecraft series. We're going to play some Minecraft. So yeah, uh, let's just get let's just get right into it. Oh, what the heck? Why did that load? That loaded. Okay, so my plan for today is to make a world where we're just gonna... Okay, hold on. World name. Build world, maybe, I think is what I'm gonna call it. Basically, what we're trying to do is we're going to make a world where we can build creatively. Like in creative, we build a house and then have no materials, turn into survival, and then get those materials. So we're going to switch it to not hardcore, creative. And yeah, that's basically it. We're just going to jump right in. Oh, by the way, this is like two point. Oh, by the way, this is a snapshot of 1.19. I'm trying this out because I do actually want to build with unique blocks that are a part of 1.19. Like just m making that clear. So that way, you know, the video is kind of dated and people don't ask questions about why certain things aren't in the game yet. Okay, well, we're in the world. <laughs> oh, hey, hello, sugarcane. Okay, well, this looks like nothing. Well, I probably shouldn't say that. There's sand right over there. Yeah. <sighs> Why? God. <laughs> it's, lo it's wood. It's wood. It's wood. It is wood. <laughs> So it looks like we spawned at a beach and then there's a savanna biome right next to it. Almost forgot the name there. Oh, we're in creative. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, we're in creative. 
<laughs> I forgot about that. I was actually surprised that broke immediately. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to try and find a place where we can actually build a house, like an actual spot. I'm probably just going to build it anywhere and not try and find like a place where it's like there's some good resources nearby or anything like that. I'm probably just going to build in a flat place. So there's a lava... There's a lava pool right here, so we can make a nether portal. There's also a giant ravine here, which is actually kind of good. That's not bad. Honestly, yeah, we could build, like, right near here. Yeah, there's, like, a cave right there. So we, we actually could build here if it would load in. You know, that'd be really nice. We could build right here. I'm also going to apologize. I'm also going to apologize to the lag, you know, beforehand. I'm also going to apologize for the lag beforehand because for some weird reason Minecraft lags a lot on my computer because it's a Mac, so of course it does. Honestly, I think right here would be a pretty good spot, like maybe like right in this little area. We could do some like terraforming too. But let's see what the new blocks are. I think there are some new blocks, hopefully. Oh, there is! Mangrove planks. Okay, we can build out a mangrove. Honestly, that's probably what I'm going to build out of, is mangrove. These actually look pretty cool. They kind of look like the nether wood if they were less red and they're just more brown. So that's actually kind of cool. What else are there? Ooh, what the heck is this? Mangrove roots? Oh, they actually added the roots. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. It's got like the roots. This actually looks pretty cool. It's kind of a cool block. Sadly, we can't go through it. I thought we could. Yeah, these things look like kind of, they're gonna be annoying, but maybe not. Ooh, mangrove sapling. Okay, that actually kind of looks cool. I think you can, uh, I didn't mean to do that. I... Wait. Oh. As I was saying, I think you can plant these in water? Like, I think they actually grow in water. Like, unlike other saplings, you can't grow it in water. So, this one you can, I think. Honestly, I think I'm just going to scroll through this page to find, like, a ton of cool new things. Because I have no idea what was added. Mangrove slabs. Yeah, it's probably just going to be a ton of like the wood stuff. And then I think there's also, ooh, mud bricks. Oh, there's mud bricks. There's actually mud. Packed mud. Brown, oh, that's just mushroom. Uh... Ooh, wait. Oh, you have the skulk too. Okay. So yeah, there's also the, um, the, what do you call it? The, like, dark cities or whatever you call them with the warden. I, I don't know what they're actually called. I forgot. Ooh, Skulk Sensor, yes. Okay, that's pretty cool. Honestly, I'm just grabbing random stuff. Wait a minute. Boat chests? Let's go. There's actually boat chests. This is actually something that I've wanted for a very long time is boat chests, mainly due to the fact that boat chests are really good. I wonder if that's so cool. You just hit E and it, you actually open the chest. That's so cool. Like this is actually really cool. It's really good because then it's like extra storage space. It was funny because originally I wanted the boat chest originally. Originally, I remember wanting the boat chest a lot because in my first Let's Play world, 
I had a ton of oceans and water and like lakes and I needed like extra storage. So it would have really helped like back then. Ooh, they also have the mangrove boat. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, honestly, I'm just going through the inventory and just seeing what there is. What is this? Oh, tadpole. Oh, it's a bucket of tadpole. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I can just throw tadpoles. That, that's kind of nice. We're gonna block this off with some skulk right here. And like, see what happens. Do they just flop around? Uh, so what do they, what happens now? Do they just die? I think, I think they just die, right? Oh yeah, music does have to be off, but like some... Okay, so let's see. What else is there? Ooh, oh yeah, the mangrove trap door. I think I've seen images of this. It's actually kind of cool. Like, there's actually, like, a little hole. I I'm probably going to use this. I'm probably just going to use a ton of mangrove stuff on my build. Oh, the warden spawn egg? Okay, we'll grab that just for- just to see what it is. Ooh, frog. Okay, here we go. So, here's a frog. Frog, let's go. Is there fireflies or do they remove them? Most likely they did. Because- they don't have any purpose because I heard like uh, tadpoles or whatever it's called. The fireflies kill frogs if they eat them, so they don't want them to eat them in game. But yeah, look at the frog. There's actually a frog. Let's see. You know, let's see how it deals with a warden. Let's see. He's gonna he's gonna attack the frog. Let's see what happens. Oh! Uh, well, yep, the warden definitely won. How much health does this have? I I'm wondering. Did I just do slash kill? Wait, what is this? Oh! Um... Okay, well I guess that worked. <laughs> That's a very odd name for the warden. It's just a ton- a random, like, set of numbers and letters. But anyways, let's- actually build so we're actually going to use uh mangrove stuff so we're going to use the logs we're going to use not that uh what else could we use we could use a ton of stuff trap door door not boat
I think we're also going to use mud blocks because I also kind of want to use some mud in this build too. I think it would look pretty cool. Oh, there is stairs. Okay, I was hoping there was mangrove stairs. And there's also slabs. Okay, we might just use mangrove instead, most likely. Maybe not mud blocks. Oh, there's a mangrove sign, too. I'm wondering what wood this could go with. Like, this is more of like a red, like a brownish, reddish wood. So I'm wondering what wood this actually could go with. Like, it'd be interesting to see. Hmm. So honestly, I don't really want this house to be that big. To be fair, we could actually make it sort of like an this. We could use this as an outline, maybe. Honestly, it would it would be kind of interesting to just have this whole house be taken up by like this one outline. I don't know. I think there should be some, like, at least some symmetry. Like, maybe, maybe it's, like, it's about here, so, like, there is a block here. Like, maybe there's something, like, like, I, I want to kind of have, like, slabs here going into the house. So, it's, like, it's kind of in this hole, but it's not actually in the hole. It's probably like right here so we just put like some something like this so it's like this is the doorway and then we put the door here that's actually a pretty cool door like look at this it's kind of got like some indents yeah and then we can just like make the outline or something so the outline is like this so it's got like some curvature and then just continue going like this i'm not gonna make like well i don't know Sh mm, should i i feel like it wouldn't be great if i extended these upward like yeah as bottom blocks they could work but like only for the doorway it should extend up it shouldn't extend upward it should just be like the bottom block Okay, so I think we finished the outline. This does look a little bit small. It looks more like an oval or like an egg uh, than an actual kind of... Eh, it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look spacious enough. Like, there's not enough space. But it it doesn't look too bad. Like it's too bad of an outline, honestly. It doesn't it doesn't look terrible. All right, let's put some stairs here just to make the doorway look pretty nice. Okay, so that actually looks pretty nice not gonna lie it does look very weird that it's like the doorway is kind of like in front and then it's it continues that way it, it is a little weird but i kind of like it
Oh, wait, maybe we could use mud blocks for the roof. That would actually be kind of cool, but for now, we're just going to kind of go like this. Okay, well, hmm, should we make windows? Probably, most likely. Yeah, okay, we definitely we definitely need windows, probably like something like here, and then maybe something like we do, uh, maybe this could just be like one whole line of windows, something like that, so that way we can actually see. And then I think, I think that's it, honestly, that's where the glass is going to be, just there. I think that's it. That's just going to be where the glass is going to be. Okay, nice. So now I think the roof is going to be made out of mud blocks. By the way, I don't think I've actually stated the real rules for this. So basically, the only thing you can do in creative to start out is build a house. You can't really, like, put anything in it or you can't put any mobs, anything like that. You have to go find the stuff. Like, you can decorate the house, like, put a, ran uh, like, put a ton of decorations around, even decorate the floor. Like, do a ton of stuff like that. But you must go out and get the resources for, like, crafting table and, like, chests and all that stuff. All right, so we grabbing some mud block. Oh, muddy mangrove roots, mud. Oh, there's just mud. This is just plain mud. Okay. So we're most likely going to get the mud bricks because that just looks better. I think I'm going to go like this, maybe something like this, and then have it be like this. This actually might take a while. I'm very bad with stair placements. All right, that actually looks pretty cool, like kind of it going across and then connecting. That actually looks good. The sound of these blocks are so weird. Like they're super weird. You know, as I'm building this house, I genuinely do wonder, are the swamps, like, actually in this area? Like, 
in the world? Like, are they actually in the world or no? Is is it just the blocks? I might actually have to go check that out. Like, maybe like find a swamp and then actually see if it's changed. Okay, so now we're just gonna do the classic thing where we're going to build. I I, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Hmm, what should I do? Should I like do something unique with this or should I actually like build the staircase type roof? Because I hate building those, honestly. They take so long. Well, I guess we're doing it anyways because, you know, I have to apparently. Um, actually, I don't think it works like that. Okay, we're just going to build a mud block roof. Maybe do like some slabs. That way it's, you know, maybe some light gets in. Maybe. <laughs> well, wait, it's going to be noticeable that it goes to like... From block to slab, but that, that actually doesn't look too bad, honestly. It kind of looks good. going to be dark in here i think it might be if i close this yeah it, it looks like it so it looks like we're going to have to actually get some some torches this is really bugging me what the hell is this I mean, thankfully, the light level's not zero, so mobs won't spawn in here, so we could keep it like this, but again, it's still kind of dark. We also still have to build the floor, because, oh, it's, well, it's raining outside, okay. Is the mud gonna collapse? Oh, hopefully not. You know, I'm just gonna cheat here and uh, change the weather to clear. I won't be able to do that once I'm in survival. So I think what I'm actually going to do, I don't think I'm actually going to use mangrove. I think I'm going to use some normal wood here, like maybe some oak and then also some spruce because, or not dark, uh, some spruce because those always go so well together in my opinion. Well, actually we could do all the woods. We could actually do like a very unique wood pattern. Actually, I might do that instead. Like, have it go from light to dark? Yeah, that's kind of cool. We'll do that, actually. We'll have it go from light to dark. 
Ooh, wait, Mangrove could actually go with Acacia, because Acacia just looks like a lighter version of Mangrove. Yeah, we'll do, like, something like this, where it's, like, it goes from light to dark. So it's kind of like, kind of like the whole, like, ring thing, but I, I don't know. I kind of want to do something where the oak isn't like fully surrounded. It's just kind of like on the outside, maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. Jungle planks. Okay, we'll do like the jungle planks are on the side for some reason. I don't know why I just want it like that. And then we'll definitely have the acacia be with the mangrove 100%. Yeah, mangrove does look a lot like the nether wood, but more like darker in color rather than it being more of a pinkish, it's like red. Okay, and now for the final wood, which is dark oak. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this actually does kind of look cool. It's going from light to dark. Yeah, this actually does kind of look cool. Kind of looks like an eye, to be honest, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, so... Okay, so now that we've successfully made our house, we are going to actually go out and go into survival. Actually, I might make something like this. But yeah, either way, we are going to go out into survival and actually try and collect stuff so that way we can actually put stuff inside of this house rather than just being nothing. Actually, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down these cords and then I'm going to actually look for a swamp and see if it's changed. And if not, then yeah, we'll just TP back here and then I'll go into survival. What? There's like something new with the cords. What the hell is that? It's like in parentheses, I think. Okay, so I think it's just slash locate. Is it biome? Is it locate biome? And then I do like swamp, maybe. I think that's what I do. Minecraft swamp. And then I just TP there. And... That's actually pretty close, I think. Maybe not. It's probably a couple blocks away. Um, yeah, and it's raining, of course. Um, I don't think they changed the swamp. I don't think the uh, biome has changed at all. It just looks like a normal swamp. Yeah, that makes sense. They probably only added the mobs, but not the biome yet.
Oh. Okay, now the... How long is, there, is this recording gone on for? Okay, 35 minutes. It's not bad. Okay, now that we've TP'd back to the house, we are going to mine some wood because we are now in survival mode. So we're just going to get some wood, get some materials, and then just fill our house with stuff. Ow, what the? Where? Oh, hey. Burn. Is there a baby zombie right there? Okay. Well, that was not good. I almost died. Well, we're just going to continue on our merry way and just continue mining wood. Okay, so I've got enough logs to make a ton of wood. So now we can at least make a crafting table and then make a pickaxe and then try and get a stone pickaxe. We can actually try and go into this ravine and then find some stuff. Okay. Boom, pickaxe. All right, perfect. I No, we'll get the stone first and then make an axe. Copper. Now, copper is honestly kind of useless. Like, yeah, it's good for building, but for anything else, like, other than that, it's kind of worthless. Some iron down there. We can try and get a stone pickaxe. Stone pickaxe, we're going to craft that. I'm not going to craft stone slabs. And then we're also going to craft a stone axe so that way we can cut down wood a lot faster. Perfect. Wow. Oh, thank God it didn't pick up my crafting table. That was good. Man, should have it did though. Can they? I hate these things. I hate Endermen, honestly. They are so scary. We're just going to try and get down to the iron. We cannot change the weather, sadly, because we don't have cheats. Unless we leave. All 
Okay, so now let's actually grab some materials. There's some iron down here, so we can now grab this. There's iron up there, too. There goes the rain. Oh, oh God. Uh, okay, now the game is lagging. This is going to be a problem, actually, if we don't have any resources like torches or, you know, a sword. Oh, wait, I just realized when it becomes nighttime, our house is going to be in complete darkness, meaning that mobs can spawn. I didn't even think about that. Well, oh God, it's thundering outside. Hopefully a lightning strike doesn't hit us. Oh, there's a zombie right there. Okay, well, I have no idea what we're supposed to do, honestly. Might as well run. Probably zombies up here, though, too. Yeah, how's our house looking? Eh, not too bad. Hopefully creepers don't spawn in here. That would be terrible, honestly. Uh, I'm actually going to exit that house because I don't want it to blow up. Let's make a sword! Because I don't want to die. No. Oh my god, no. Okay. It was stupid, so it didn't know to come over there. We could also make torches. We could actually just make torches on our own, to be honest. We don't have any food. Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be horrible. We, we got to do, like, some resource management here. I don't care if I get hungry, I'll just eat it. Some more iron. Most likely we're going to need a shield because then we just won't be able to defend ourselves. Now that we actually have coal, we should probably go back up to the house so that way we can actually uh, light up the house so we don't die from a mob that spawns in there. We have light. We have light in the house. Okay, where are we going to put our crafting table? Uh, here. Screw it. We'll put it there. Put it like above the door. Just so that way we have light when it's actually not daytime.
Probably need a lantern to hang down from here, but honestly, this torch on the ground works too. We also need to create a furnace so that we can actually cook the iron. We'll put it right here because I'm planning to put other furnaces right there. Make a large chest, we'll put it right here. And then just put all of our stuff inside. We'll take this though. Just put a ton of random stuff in there. Okay. Perfect. Oh! Well, that just hit the ground. Oh, wait, they're useful for, for lightning rods. Yeah, we could get a lightning rod, actually. That probably would help. Did I just bug out the game? What the- what just happened? It's not- It's not even smelting. I literally bugged out the game. Well, that's great. Interesting how there's a furnace glitch. Didn't know there was one. Now I wasted one coal. And now it's not smelting at all. Well, that's- That's brilliant. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, God. All right, iron pickaxe, shield, and then what else? We could do an iron sword, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll save our iron. But this furnace is broken, sadly. We wasted two pieces of coal. I'm going to run back into the ravine. Oh. Uh, real quick. Oh. Oh, God. Well, let's try and kill the skeleton. Okay, perfect. Now, we probably should go deeper in the mines. I didn't bring any coal, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter. We could just go deeper. I mean, there's coal right here, so we could just grab it. The big problem is we don't have any food. You know what? I, I got one way to get food. Oh my god, we just... 
This is a pretty good resource of food. You know, I don't know how we got it, but somehow we, we obtained 64 steak. But anyways, we're just going to continue mining. I don't know. Honestly, it's just like, why? What's the point of making this video, really? It's just, just another Minecraft Let's Play, and that's it. Yeah, I guess I'll end it.